Hey, today we're going to talk about the top three ways to improve your OBE score. You're never satisfied when it comes to improving your OEE, and I like that about you. OEE is great for helping you understand the six big areas of production loss. If you don't know what they are, be sure to check out the link below the video. With these areas of production loss in mind, let's run through my top three ways to improve your OEE. Number one, breakdowns. I just hate that word. What OEE can do is show you which particular asset is absolutely killing your OEE score because it's always breaking down. With this information, wouldn't you be able to determine if it's worth ditching the lemon and upgrading to a newer piece of equipment? Quite often, equipment upgrades prove to be a great investment, with ROI often realized through increased productivity and energy efficiency with modern equipment. Number two, reduce speed. The human eye can only pick up on so much. It's hard to tell if a machine is operating at 100% or 92%. OEE will tell you when your assets are running at less than the maximum speed. With this data at your fingertips, you can find trends and make the necessary improvements to bump that number up closer to 100% capacity. Number three, small stops. How many times does a particular asset stop for even two or three seconds? Could your operator even pick up on that? I doubt it. OEE shows you the frequency of these small stops that can add up over time to result in lost productivity. If you can spot a trend in these small stops, you can remove them from your process and increase your productivity that will certainly bump up your OEE score. For more tips on what OEE can do for you, check out the related articles below. Now go improve that OEE.